Hi everybody, this is Josh with another video on Gravit Designer. In this video, we're looking at the text tool. Let's check it out. The text tool is located right here with the icon of an uppercase T. We can click that and then either click on our canvas or click and drag. And essentially what we're doing is creating a text box, just like in Google Drawings or Google Slides. Over in the appearance panel, we have access to changing our font, and this uses many of the Google web-based fonts. There are tons to choose from here. Many of them have multiple styles, ranging from light to extra bold or black. And we can choose that here under the weight. We can change the size, just like in a word processor our alignment or justification here. We also have the ability to go in and change the spacing between characters, the spacing between words, and the spacing between lines. And I'll show you how that works. So I'm just gonna copy this text, paste it a few times in here, so we have something to play with. I'll highlight all of it, and under the character spacing, I'll just start by scrolling down on my mouse wheel and you can see now we're smashing that text together. But it's not squeezing the text, it's changing. It's actually changing the distance between the characters. This is also known as kerning. We also have the ability to change spacing between the words. So this will maintain the spacing of the characters in the words, but each word can then be spaced out rather than changing the spacing of the words themselves. A very useful feature. Then line spacing changes the distance between our lines of text. So the vertical spacing, and we can go all the way down until, again, that's all smashed together. Or we can give ourselves a little bit more breathing room. Those are some really powerful features for editing blocks of text in your web browser and it comes in very, very handy. You can also edit the character spacing of a single word or even just two characters, changing the spacing between those two characters independently of the rest of the paragraph. So for creating logos or getting your text aligned just the way you want it, the appearance panel gives you tons of options. Then we have an option for sizing. The, now, this is the size of the text box itself, not the text inside the box. And if we just hit auto, you can see that this will expand it to the length of our text. And we'll hit auto on the height as well, which will compress our text box to just fitting the text that we have in that box. We've got a small little red dot here in the left corner. And if I click and drag that, it will resize my text as well as the text box. If I click and drag any other corner, it will only resize the text box, but not the text inside the box. So that's a really handy way of being able to scale the text as well as the text box. We can change the color of our text by clicking our little swatch there. And of course, we have all of the same fill, border, and effects options available to us, just like we have on any other object. So we could blur the text or add other effects to your liking. So that's an overview of the text tool and features available in Gravit Designer. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.